Well, we've all been there. You're hanging out with some friends and you're having a good time when all of a sudden negative energy just walks. It's like a black hole oh, of good vibes. Just oh. comes in like a, a cipher. Yeah, I mean, Debbie Downer. Yes. Darth Vader. I mean, what do you do? How do you protect yourself? Well, you know what? When the energy is real good and then it just goes away when that person walks through the door. Let's check in with our uh, motivational Monday expert, Mr. Rich Bracken. He's going to teach us how to stay positive around negative people. This is a terrific topic, Rich. And I, I guess what I want to start out with this here is what is the phenomenon that causes the mood to shift with certain people? What's going on here? Hey, Nick. Hey, Pat. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. See? Yeah, oh, come on, man. It's infectious. Exactly what we just witnessed, right? <laughs> this phenomenon called emotional contagion. And it is. It's, it's that feeling contagion. when somebody walks in the room. It's that energy that somebody brings, positive or negative. It could be a good or a bad thing. But I, I liken it to perfume. I was explaining it to my son. And it's like a, a perfume or a cologne. Somebody walks in the room, you're either really thrilled that they're there or really not. And so it really is understanding the energy that somebody brings into the room, and it could be the energy that you bring into the room. If you're coming in and you're smiling and you're happy and your shoulders are back and you're feeling confident, people are going to want to be around you. But if you're walking in like, like Debbie Downer or Darth Vader and you're looking to just do the, the virtual chokehold on people, then, of course, that's going to set the tone for what everybody is going to do to receive you. Interesting. And this is like hardwired into our DNA, right? This is like goes back to the Neanderthal days. We subliminally pick up on the energy around us. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm going to pretend that you didn't call me a Neanderthal, but we'll, we'll carry on <laughs> from there. But, you know, it really is. It's, it's all about how we are hardwired to receive that energy. So it really affects our mood in a couple of different ways. Number one, we mimic what we see. So if somebody comes in, you know, you see that phenomenon where somebody's like, <gasps> I have some exciting news. Like you can be immediately like, what, really? And you're imitating what they're doing. So it's the same thing on negative energy. If somebody comes in and they're in a bad mood or in a negative mood, we tend to mimic what they're doing. And if we do that long enough and we submit ourselves to that kind of behavior long enough, we start taking on that contagion. So it's not just acting and showing that you're acting the same way that they are, but that all of a sudden you're starting to feel the same way. So if you're around certain people or you're in certain situations or certain certain uh, scenarios that are bringing you down consistently, you're going to start feeling that way over time. God, you know, I, I can see how this could really affect uh, like, like like a work setting where you work yeah. as a team or I, you know, even even a, a, a family. I mean, a family of five, family of six, one person's like, you know, could bring the whole whole family down. So so the question to you, Rich, is, you know, how do we protect ourselves? How can we build a boundary of some kind to maybe protect us from that negative situation? What, what do you think about that? Yeah, you hit the nail on the head, Nick. It is, it's both personal and professional, especially in professional settings when we're dealing with people that we work with, you know, not talking about the guy next to you on the couch or anything, <laughs> but it's really important to understand that you need to protect your energy in those situations. So number one, if you can create an environment that for you personally that you can go to after situations where you're feeling down that automatically lifts your mood but the most important thing is to not take it personally if somebody walks into a meeting and they're coming in in a bad mood chances are it's not your fault the, whatever they've just dealt with whatever they're dealing with in their personal or professional life or whatever they just experienced before they walked in the room that, that's what's affecting their mood but if you take it personally, you're more likely to feel stress and anxiety and depression because you feel like you're at fault. But it is important. It is not your fault. It is not your you're not causing that mood. So when we not when we quit taking it personally, we distance ourselves from that emotion. But it's really important that you stay in a positive environment and that you find those things that you can go back to if you start feeling yourself sliding into a negative frame of mind. Yeah, you know, I just got to say real quick, um, not a joke. Yesterday, Salvi Perez hit that three-run home run, and they won the game. They said before the game he got on the team bus, and he was just being Salvi and, you know, joking around and getting everyone in a great mood. Yeah. And they beat the Yankees. And they said, yeah. So exactly. there you go. Emotional yep. contagion at his best. Go Royals. And Salvi is a perfect example of how that, that really affects and lifts the mood of a team or an environment. Oh, my gosh. Well, certainly a very important topic. And once again, you have hit the nail on the head, Mr. Bracken. Hey, uh, we, may, we may not see you for your next appearance in about a month, but that's okay. You might go on a little short hiatus. Uh, but you'll be back with us, and we can't wait.
to hear another motivational Monday coming from you, Mr. Rich Bracken. Yes, sir. It's not goodbye. It's just we'll see you soon. So uh, I appreciate everything that we've done to this point. It's been six years, which is crazy to think. Wow. Six years that I've been working with you guys. But I'm going to take a short little sabbatical, but I'm coming back strong in a couple of months. So, again, not goodbye, but see you soon. All right. Can't wait to see you next time. Rich Bracken for us. Thank you, Rich. Great stuff. All right, guys. Good we'll to see you. you. All right. You All right. too.